Hey guys, Nick here with Picture This, and today we're going to be talking about what makes a good photo compared to a bad photo. So, it looks like it's going to rain, so before it does, let's get straight into it. In this video, we're going to be talking about the rule of thirds and other beginner uh, photography techniques that help make your photos interesting and keep the composition clean and just make it look good, I guess. So I guess since I don't really have a lot of interesting locations to go around indoors and I've been cooped up for a little bit, let's take a quick second and go back out to the pond. See you guys in a moment. <laughs> so here we are back at the pond again because it's like the only interesting place near me. Eventually I'll find another location. We'll start shooting videos there. But until then, here we go. We're at the pond. Let's shoot a couple photos and break down what's good and what's bad. So that was it, that was the end of our little photo shoot. Now time to head back to the corner and let's take a look at what we got. See you guys in a second. So we're back and I feel like we got some really good photos. I feel like I got some good ones, some bad ones just so I could kind of compare and contrast and you guys can see the difference between a good one, one that wasn't really properly composed and it could have been better and then one that I felt like looked good and fit the rule of thirds. So now let's get straight into it and hop into Lightroom. So here we are into Lightroom. Um, as you can see we have all of our images. I think I took 40, 42 as it says down here. Um, so now, let's just get straight into it. So, starting off with our first one. This one uh, follows the rule of thirds, so I'll just put this overlay on so you can kind of see. Um, this isn't exactly correct, but it's close enough where the tree is on the two points of the intersection here and here. So that helps with the overall um, composition, keeping the interesting things and the point of interest on the um, intersections of the points there of the grid. So that's a good photo with the rule of thirds. And then here is a not so good photo. Well, I mean, it's a good photo, but it's just not composed properly. Um, it's kind of just in the center of everything. And I don't know, it's just kind of gross and it doesn't really provide a lot of interest. So here's the same shot from like a different slightly different angle. Um, as you can see, the frog is here. I actually really, really liked how this turned out. I'm probably gonna do a little editing or do a video on some of these photos editing in the future. Um, so yeah, this is properly composed. You've got your frog on the right side and just not in the straight out middle. And then it's another photo that's the exact same because I had it on like multi-shot mode or whatever you want to call that. Um, so this is another one. It's in the center and it's okay to break the rule of thirds sometimes. In this case, it's still a good photo because you're maintaining a foreground element, um, which is like the grass here and here. And you've got different, a mix of terrain because you've got the water and then you've got like all the foliage. In my opinion, this is a really good one. And I'm not just saying that because I took it. So here's that photo again and again, but punched in a little bit more. As you can see, we're at 55 millimeters, which is the maximum of my 18 to 55. And then here we're also at 55 question mark. I don't know. That's a little weird looking. Um, here's another one. Uh, we're at 40 millimeters here. And as you can see the bridge or um, not bridge, but like ledge area is kind of 
off to the side. Um, let me pull up the grid here. As you can see, the bush and the edge of the bridge are intersecting uh, like that on our point. So it's the bridge, not bridge, platform is gonna be drawn to the eye of the viewer there. That's um, the point of the rule of thirds is it kind of helps draw the viewer in. Um, this photo, while a little overexposed, is just bad because it doesn't follow the rule of thirds. Again, it doesn't make that a bad photo, but it's just kind of in the center and there's just a lot going on and it's kind of hard to tell. Whereas this photo, you can, if it wants to load, this photo, it uh, shows a little bit more of like the background and the outside area. Um, this one, I don't know if you see it here, if it wants to render properly. But yeah, there's a little frog down the corner. This is a nice little portrait I took. I felt like that was pretty cool looking. Um, if it wants to, as you can see, the frog is kind of near that point of intersection, drawing interest to it. Um, yeah, same shot, same shot. Ooh, this one's in the center. Um, as you can see, it's not really on any point of intersection. It's just kind of straight in the middle. And it, it looks cool. I mean, you've got your bokeh, you've got all that good stuff, kind of stuff is in focus or whatever. I don't know, it turned out pretty good for manual focus. Um, next one is the same one. Ooh, yeah, we took a lot. Um, so then you got this one, um, it's kind of in the center, it, it's okay. Um, you've got background blur, so I guess it looks cool. And then you've got this one where it's again in the corner um, on that intersection of the two lines drawing interest to it. And then it shows the rest of the background there. Um, then you got this. Um, I thought this was pretty good overall. It's like in focus and everything else isn't. So that looks pretty cool, I guess. Uh, the bokeh looked a little funky. But I like this one because um, yeah, it's still relatively in focus, or at least it looked like it when I took it. Um, I used manual for it instead of auto because auto wasn't just quite, wasn't quite getting it. Um, and then it kind of shows the background here. The background's a little blurred for my taste. I don't know, I feel like it could have been a little bit less on that. Um, and this one I feel like is pretty cool. It has the foreground in focus, the background out of focus. I didn't really do rule of thirds for this one. I just kind of put my camera in the grass and just went with it. So I thought it came out pretty good. Um, same shot, same shot. This one, I mean, it's pretty good too. You've got some foreground elements, the background's in focus as opposed to the foreground. Again, it's not a terrible photo either. Um, this one is like a weird sideways one that might have been supposed to be a portrait. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, you've got the frog here. It's kind of um, in the center. Uh, I got that one also in the center. And then, ooh, yeah, I like this one because you've got your frog here. He's, he's just chilling out, you know? So he's in the corner and then you've got the whole just background and, and foreground elements of the plants here and the water and then the grass. I feel like that came out pretty good. Um, so yeah, same shot. This is the same one, just kind of zoomed in a little bit. Um, how did I do with my manual focus? I actually didn't do terrible. Um, yeah, that came out good. That came out good. It looks like he's like ready to jump. And ooh, it looks quite good. I pulled manual focus pretty well on that one. But um, one critique I do have is that the frog's a little bit to the center. I would have just moved it a little bit. So kind of just, yeah, kind of just that way. So you could get a little bit less of the grass over here and a little bit more of the water and what's in it. I think that would provide a little bit more interest and in it. Um, again, another frog, he's just kind of chilling out there. Um, there's a lot of foreground and background elements, provides um, a lot of interesting things to look at. And then same shot. And then this one, he's kind of tucked behind. I just did this basically as a portrait and it came out good. I would have lowered it a little bit um, so you don't see as much of this top and then maybe get a little bit of the ground that was under there and then yeah that's the same shot. So basically the rule of thirds is make sure you're keeping your point of interest. Ooh, this one was a good one. Uh, make sure you're keeping your point of interest in these um, cross 
sections where they connect, intersect, because um, that is where the human eye is going to be drawn. Make sure you're not like kind of just shooting straight in the middle and be like, hey, you know, it's good because it's got background blur. No, it's not really the way that works, um, most of the time anyway. So it's okay to break the rule of thirds. Um, it's just knowing it um, that makes you able to break it because if you're breaking it and you're like, oh yeah, I broke the rule of thirds and you don't know what it is, I don't know how well you're gonna fare with that one. So uh, that's it for Lightroom. Now let's hop back over and close this out. So uh, that does it for this video. If you liked this video and found it helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, drop a comment below, put down there what you guys might want to see in a future video, and I'll make sure to read them and reply to them. Uh, that's it for now, <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next one.